And this is my review for the Tron Legacy 3 and 3 quarter inch core line Korra figure. Um, I really, really like Korra in the movie. Uh, she was definitely my favorite female character um, in Tron Legacy. Granted, there weren't that many, uh, but I definitely liked Korra better than any of the Sirens. I especially liked her better than Jim, because I really, really did not like Jim. But anyway, uh, fairly cool figure. Um, I'll say it right off the bat. I don't like her nearly as much as I like the 3 and 3 quarter inch Rinsler figure. Uh, but that's really only for one reason, and we'll get to that in a minute. But I will say, it's a fairly nice figure. Um, I'll say that right off the bat. Uh, very, very nicely painted, um, as you can see. Uh, she has a lot more paint apps uh, than the Rinsler figure, as you can see. Very, very nicely applied. There are a couple of smudges um, on her arm uh, that you can kind of see um, and down here um, on the right leg. But, oh, well, not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, I will say, the one thing I do not like about this figure overall is this head sculpt. And, I mean, it's not film inaccurate. I mean, they did uh, try to go film accurate. She did have this helmet thing um, in the movie, but she only wore it for the very first scene she was in. I just do not like this head sculpt. I mean, the real thing uh, that set Korra apart from any of the other characters was her haircut. <laughs> I know how ridiculous that sounds, uh, but it really was her haircut that made her uh, such a standout character. I um, mean, I really, really wish that they had attempted uh, to make um, a head sculpt based off that haircut and face of Olivia Wilde. I really, really hate that they went with this helmet look. I mean, actually, it, come to think of it, isn't really film accurate uh, of having these lights on it. Um, I think in the movie it was actually all pure black, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, so, yeah, that really is my one really major complaint about this figure is this head sculpt. I really, really do not like this head sculpt, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? I'm sure some third-party uh, company will go out and make a uh, new head for her. I'll probably end up buying it, too, if they do. But, anyway... Uh, very, very cool. Um, as you can see, very, very nice mold detailing on her. Um, I really, really do like the fact that they uh, went all out and making her different from any of the other characters. Um, very, very cool. You can see they did add her skirt, um, which is very, very movie accurate. Um, and I really, really like um, what they do with the feet. They didn't have to do this, but they actually sculpted the feet uh, to kind of resemble high heels, which I don't think she had in the movie. I can't really recall, uh, but I really, really do like that, that they added it on the figure. They didn't have to do that. They could have just given her standard feet, uh, but they went ahead and took the extra time uh, to mold her feet uh, differently from any of the other figures. Uh, granted, it does make her a little bit harder to stand, which you'll probably see at some point during this review, uh, but it is still a fairly, fairly nice feature. Um, anyway, um, for posability, I'm going to have to turn macro mode off. Anyway, uh, for posability, um, her head does rotate left and right. Um, it kind of goes up and down. It goes up and down a little bit more than the Rinsler figure. And I'm assuming that's just because it has a uh, more free sculpt. But it still doesn't go up and down nearly as well as I would like. Um, she does rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder. Uh, she goes in and out at the shoulder. I guess you could if you wanted to. Uh, you could rotate it around uh, to make her arms look a little bit different. Just to distinguish her a little bit more from the Tron figures. But, oh, well, it doesn't really matter to me. But you can do that if you want to. Um, anyway, she does have an upper bicep swivel. Uh, she does rotate at the elbow. I mean, she bends at the elbow. Sadly, there's no elbow rotational joint, uh, which kind of sucks. I really, really would have liked if they had added an elbow rotational joint, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, her hands do uh, rotate 360. They don't go in and out, which is a bit of a shame, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, she does have the infamous Hasbro ball joint system on her hips. Um, and it is a little bit more cumbersome on her than it is on Rinsler, uh, simply because of the skirt. Uh, but you can uh, rotate them in and out. I mean, if you rotate them uh, all around, uh, you can uh, make her legs go forward and back. Um, again, it is a little bit harder to do um, on this figure just due to the skirt design. But, oh, well. Uh, she also does rotate um, at the upper thigh. Um, she bends at the knee. Uh, she rotates at the knee. Um, and her feet go up and down. Um, they bend a little bit backward, and they bend a little bit forward. Um, again, uh, just due to the sculpt of her feet, um, her feet are a little bit limited. You generally have to keep her um, in a flat stance pose. Uh, just to get her to stand, but oh, well, still pretty good posability on this girl. Uh, very, very nice. Um, she does have the light up gimmick, just like any of the other three and three quarter inch figures. I'll go ahead and kill my lights real quick. There we go. Um, and like I said, uh, just push the button on the back of her identity disc, um, and if you push it, um, she'll light up very, very brightly, as you can see. I think that's really, really awesome, uh, just how nice she lights up. And it is also nice um, that she doesn't have nearly as many paint flaws that allow the light to shine through where it's not supposed to, uh, which I think is nice. But very, very nice light-up gimmick on her. Very, very cool. Um, like I said, she can be a little bit hard to stand. There we go. Uh, 
go ahead and put my lights back on. Um, she does come with a couple of accessories. Um, first off, she does come with the uh, identity disc stand that all the others do. Um, it's pretty much just the same stand as any of the other figures. It's just got the light uh, teal blue painted on it uh, just to distinguish her from any of the rest. I have found that you actually can throw these and they fly pretty well. So if you wanted to haul out this section to have a mini ID disc, um, I guess you could do that. Um, again, it's not really a needy accessory uh, because, well... She stands pretty well. She doesn't stand um, as well as some of the other figures, but she does stand pretty well. But it is pretty nice that they uh, did include that. I really am happy uh, that they took the time to add that. Um, anyway, um, she also does come with her katana, um, which I'm pretty sure is just a repaint of the uh, katana uh, that comes with the Clue figure. Um, and it is nice that they did include it with her. I don't think Clue had a katana in the movie, uh, but I know that Korra had a katana, so I really am glad uh, that they came, uh, that they gave her a katana. Um, she does... Uh, not hold it nearly as well as I would like. Um, it's probably just due to the sculpting of the hand rather than the figure itself. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably just due to quality control in the hand rather than the figure itself. But, oh, what are you going to do? I'm sure it's also come with her. And like I said, can be a little bit tricky to stand um, on occasion. Uh, she also does come with her ID disc, um, which is... Um, you can kind of tell painted in the light teal blue color um, is the rest of her body, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, I really, really do like uh, that they did that. Again, I do wish that they had added um, some teal blue on the outside of the circle um, of the ID disc, but no, what are you going to do? So very, very cool overall. Uh, for some quick size comparisons, uh, first off, uh, here she is next to a uh, standard uh, three and three quarter inch figure. Uh, G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Snake Eyes. So you can see, uh, she's a little bit taller other than the G.I. Joe uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch Snake Eyes, which I think is nice. Um, and they look pretty cool. Um, and also, uh, here she is next to the uh, Tron Legacy Rinsler figure. Um, you can see she's actually, uh, with the head, she's actually just a little bit taller uh, than Rinsler, which is kind of odd, come to think of it. But, oh well, still pretty cool looking together. Uh, so overall, I highly, highly recommend this figure. Um, I have seen the Tron Legacy figures start growing on clearance, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, so you can pick them up for much cheaper than retail prices. Uh, but I would go ahead um, and pick them up if you're going to pick them up at all, because I've seen several locations where they're just completely sold out. So you're going to want to rush and get these, uh, because they will sell out fairly quickly. Uh, so there you go, my look at Tron Legacy 3 and 3 quarter inch Coraline Core figure. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.